Hey guys, been a rolling for a couple of days. I mean, I they wore me out. That's usually the way it goes. I don't do a load for a day or two, and then then I'll do a bunch of loads uh, for a day or two, and so it it works out. So, and I sort of like that. I like being off a day or two and then running hard a day or two. I'd rather do that. So, uh, myself personally. Anyway, so today I want to talk to you about something that if you're new in the hot shot or hot shot owner operator trucking business that you're gonna to have to, something you're gonna to have to get used to. So hang tight and we'll talk about it. Yada yada yada, and I look 
through that bull crap really quick. I'm a scanner. And I scan straight to the bottom because I can tell right off it's a little fishy because I've done everything I'm supposed to do. Anyway, down at the bottom, and I'll put a picture at the bottom of this email. In this video, but it says that they're not associated with FMCSA, something to that effect. I don't have it in front of me, but if you read that, you know that that's not a FMCSA email. All it is was them wanting me to sign up for their drug screening program, and I'm already signed up for somebody locally. I'd rather do my work locally, and guess what? I only have to pay for my drug screening program if I get pulled. And I've been pulled once and, uh, and since August, I think. So they don't charge me a monthly fee to be uh, subscribed to their service. They only charge me if I get pulled. So pretty cool. So, and I know a lot of the hot shotters in my area use this same company. So they were trying to scam me into hooking up with their company and, and to do a monthly service and all this crap so what the video is about today is if you don't get something from fmcsa stating that it is an official fmcsa i got a phone call one time I'll tell you how bad it is i got a phone call one time and it was a legit fmcsa um, phone call my brain fog is terrible, guys. And uh, I've always had brain fog. And since the China bug, it's been worse. So y'all just have to bear with me if I stare out in the space occasionally. Uh, but, and to it comes with age, I reckon. But um, anyway, I got this phone call one time. And the... The... You know the thing you get on your phone that tells who it's from the description of who it's from said like some foreign country i didn't answer it well i get an email that says that i have to register for the uh, audit they do and it's a legit FMCSA deal. I called my person to make sure it's legit. And she called the FMCSA and they're like, yep, all this. Whatever it was, I don't know exactly what all this was. But anyway, I confirmed it with the FMCSA to make sure it was legit and that I was registered. And, uh, but I didn't answer the call because somehow it registered through the, my cell phone as being from a spam call, basically. In other words, so many people were getting this call, and it actually was a legit call that the phone company was considering it a spam call. So, that one was legit, but 99.9% .9 of them that you get will not be legit. So, you're going to have to be super, super careful. There's a number through the FMCSA you can call to verify all of these and when you sign up for your MC number and all that they specifically tell you on the FMCSA side that the moment that you register and get approved you're going to start getting spam calls and that not all those calls are from the FMCSA so that was a big mouthful and a lot of brain fogs later but I'm just warning I don't answer none of my phone calls. I don't answer. Unless the name that shows up on the screen is somebody I know. I don't even answer them if they're a local phone call. There's not enough hours in the day for me to answer the phone as many times as my phone rings. So, caller ID, number one. Because it's, you think I'm kidding. Anybody that's owner operator, especially new ones, know that you're probably gonna get several hundred spam calls within the first two weeks. And I'm not kidding. 
So be really careful who you give your information to. Be really careful who you send in information to, like just generic stuff. Your MC number is public. Everything in that application is public. So anybody that's calling you that, that needs to know already has it. And if in doubt, if you hire somebody to take care of it, call them, let them handle it. Or you can go to the FMCSA site and uh, uh, I think they have a number that you can call. Uh, my lady has a person she can call to verify everything. So, anyway, be on guard. That's all I'm telling you. Uh, and be real protective of your information. And be ready to get bombarded. So, guys, I hope you're having a great day. I'm having another good week. Even though I didn't work two days, I'm going to wind up having a really good week. And, and that's all you can ask for. Get out there and make the jack just like that you get all these spam calls you're going to get a lot of uh, crappy you're going to get a lot of crappy advice from a lot of crappy people so i guess use your gut instinct if somebody tell you they're not making money out here on the hot shot and they've been saying that for two years and they're still doing it either they've got a money problem or they're not telling you the truth so i'm telling you i'm making money i'm making good money i couldn't make this money working nowhere else and i've got all my budgets lined up and stashed and you can too so all right guys i've drug this out long enough remember why i always say if you want to have a safe trip you gotta start out doing safe things inspect your truck your trailer and your equipment if you need any equipment click the link below and go to mighty products and they'll hook you up love you guys have a great day get out there and make some cash see ya